Hello Cinemelia artists, welcome back to my messy table. So we are going to be doing a really fun project this week and first we're going to have to make some salt clay. So you're definitely going to need help from your parents for this project so make sure that they're around. And to make the salt dough what you're going to need is one cup of flour, a half cup of salt, and a half cup of water. Then you're going to need a mixing bowl, so something to knead your dough in, something to mix your dough with, so a spoon. You're going to add your flour to the bowl that you're going to be mixing in. And you're going to add your salt. Mix that together a little bit. Then while you're stirring your flour and your salt together, start adding a little bit of water at a time. Keep stirring as you add your water and then as soon as you get a nice, not sticky texture, you can stop adding the water. Because sometimes we get our measurements wrong, you might just want to add a little bit less. And you can knead with your hands at the very end. So once you have kneaded your dough to perfection, then what you can do is you can rip off some of that dough. We can leave the rest for ourselves to have fun with. And we're going to make a pinch pot. So this means we are going to make a little dish. So the first thing you need to do is roll that piece of dough that you picked out in between your palms like this so that we're going to make a round spherical form. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put it on a clean surface. If you don't want to get the table too messy, then you can use parchment paper. I put a little bit of flour down so that it doesn't stick or anything like that. And to actually make the pinch pot, what you have to do is you want to just press your thumb into the dough. We want to go a little bit more than halfway to the bottom of our sphere. Once you've done that, then you can start pinching the walls of your pot and pulling the sides upwards. So if you notice I'm using both my hands, my pointer finger and my thumb, and I am just ever so gently going around my pot and pinching it. And you want to try and make it so that you would be able to contain something in this pinch pot. So keep going around the sides, pinching from the bottom up. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go on top of the rim of your pot and tap it down with your pointer finger. So you want to make it nice and even. And you can try and smooth out the sides a little bit just by going with your pointer finger around the sides. Well, keeping your other pointer finger on the inside of your pot. And you're going to want to smooth down the bottom of your pot as well. So the bottom inside, just making sure that it's nice and flat, everything's nice and smooth, and then we're ready to move on to any details. So once you have the basic shape of your pinch pot down, then you can get a little bit creative with it. So I kind of want to make the rim of my pot resemble a flower so I'm just gonna push out like I'm pushing out petals you could use your finger for this too but I'm just pinching the rim of my pinch pot so that it folds out and looks almost like petals so clean it up a bit more make sure you have it just the way you want it because then we're going to either let this dry for a little while or we're going to bake this, which I'm going to, for the sake of time, bake my pinch pot. Stay tuned for directions on how to bake your pinch pot. So 
So once your pinch pots have been baked or have had time to dry, then you can decorate them however you like. So I'm going to use paint for mine. You do not have to use paint. Paint is not required. Um, but you can use glue and glitter, however you'd like to do it. These are obviously, once you paint them or decorate them, they are not going to be safe for eating out of, so just make sure you pay attention to that. And you can use them for different things like paper clips or stuff like that. So I'm going to paint mine, you can follow along, and then it'll be your turn to get creative with this part. I also just want to add one very important point. You do not want to paint the bottom of your pinch pot, just so it doesn't stick while the paint is drying. So as always, please email me with any questions you may have. If you need an alternative to this project, you can let me know. I will share that with you. And otherwise, I can't wait to see all of your beautiful pinch pot photos. Bye!